Hello, and thanks for joining me. I just wanted to come on here this morning and tell you guys that um, a little bit about prepping and about what's going on. Um, us preppers let our guard down. We honestly do. And reason being is because at one point we would stockpile the things that we need and start getting every herb. Um, you're hearing the printer go on because I'm supposed to print some coupons for my hauls but anyways there was an error so what I was basically trying to tell you is we basically let down actually it's gonna let me print it now amazing five times and now it's gonna print so anyways um, we let our guard down we honestly do as far as our prepping when we don't see any major chaos going on like when we think something's gonna happen or um, it just feels like we sometimes take things for granted, you know, and like last year I had so, so, so much of my stuff and basically didn't even care anymore about stockpiling for myself. Um. I had a gun in the house that I was going to keep just for emergency use, and I sold that because um, I didn't want to shoot. I thought if I killed somebody, I would feel really bad, and I know that I need that, you know, in case somebody breaks in my home and my life is in danger. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I got rid of the gun. My money that I had in the safe, I had an emergency, um, $1,000 for emergency fund, and we used that, um, yeah, so we let our guard down, we stopped doing the things that we need to do for our families, so we need to get back on the eight ball, and part of, you see a lot of couponing videos, is because I stockpile, um, I get things that we need, things that we want, I barter, you know, I'll trade before I use any cash because it helps, you know. Um, I recently got a uh, impact driver, Ryobi, you know, it's a two drill um, impact driver, two of them with two of the charges and the wall unit. Um, it was a hundred dollars and I got it for 25 bucks and then I got a pair of Converse sneakers that I wanted um, in my favorite color which is the baby blue completely free at Macy's and I said to myself recently I said wow I had the garden ready last year um, I was kind of upset because the birds got in there and and tore things up so um, then I put up the greenhouse and it's just not working out. I don't have it in the right location. There's, it's not getting a lot of sun. It's probably warm out there right now, but things are slowly growing. And I look at everybody's garden that I see online and they've got vegetables and plants vining out. And I'm not even there yet. I'm, my guard's completely down. Um... Last year, we stockpiled our wood. We only got a small amount already into our shed. Um, last year, I wanted more chickens and got more chickens, and this year, I got none. I started spending a lot more. Instead of paying down the debt, I would do trips and go places, and I basically let my guard down. I don't have that $1,000 emergency fund, which I'm working on again. I am working on it. I had a yard sale. I did quite well. But now I had gotten the camper. I was going to put it on land. I was going to get totally off the grid because I'm not. my home is completely paid for. My business is paid for. Um, I'm good as far as food. If we in an emergency situation, no, I don't got as much butter as I need. I don't got cheese. Um stockpiled, um, milk, I don't got stockpiled, um, cat food, I don't got stockpiled, I've got some, I got like four bags, but not enough, you want six to eight, 12 months 
of stockpile. So um, then you want to rotate your stock, which I wasn't doing. So I let my guard down. I really let it down. And now I'm trying to get back and I'm slow moving, slow paced. I'm like, I don't know. The desire was there a couple years ago. I mean, I was like, you got to do this. If an emergency situation, if you have to go, you have to have your bug out bag ready. You have to learn how to make fire. I have not even mastered that yet. You need to get into the woods and learn how to survive. I want to build a, a shelter in the woods. Um, a lot of my bushcrafting friends left my channel because they saw couponing. They didn't see who I was, that I'm still a prepper. Um, I should have put up fire making videos. I should have put out um shelter making videos i should have done more as far as survival so i probably lost a lot of people i mean being on youtube five to six years i should have so many subscribers and it's it's not there it's not where i need to be i've had contests and people wouldn't follow some of the rules and i removed them you know i said I just can't do this. I did give some things away. I still have the flashlight, so I might offer that up again. Because I asked people just to share. And they couldn't prove to me that they shared. You know? So, it, it's frustrating for me. And I want to be... I want to be liked. I want people to like my videos. Um, I am still a prepper. You see couponing because I am couponing prepping. I'm getting things that we need. If you saw what I have for a stockpile, you just would be like, oh wow, she she's sad. I'm I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent, but I I'm good. I'm good. I've got um eight apple trees, I have hops, I have onions, I have garlic, I have cherry tree, raspberries, I have blackberries, I have hush radish, I have a lot of food on the land and of course you know I I don't want to kill a deer unless I need to eat so yeah I got to get back to my survival so with that being said I just want to ask you guys what are you guys doing for prepping you know do you like my videos is this something I could do to in make it better um, this fall I plan on going apple picking I'm going to go get raspberries, I'm going to go get blueberries, strawberries, all my fruits so I can prep for it. I'm going to still get my wood supply. I'm hopefully going to have it completely set before fall. I'm hoping to have 5000 saved. Um, we're in process of selling the camper. We've got three people interested. So that will help me get my emergency fund again. And I hope to get an, another gun back in the house and learn to shoot and... I hope to get in the woods and build a shelter and I hope to make fire and I still want to get a really good knife. Um, I used to have this guy that um, subscribed to me and I subscribed to him. Then he just didn't want to even talk to me and he always would say my friend. I'm like, how do people just leave you, you know, if you're still in survival? I just don't understand that. But anyways... I'm going to be heading out soon because I have um, a knee appointment for therapy. I'm going to do some couponing. I heard somebody was coming today to look at the camper, but my husband's going to have to be the one to be here because I need to make money. I need to go to work and I need to coupon and still provide for my family. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope some of the things I say sound, you know, something that you can do you can start out small by going to the Dollar Tree and buying things for a dollar and stockpiling you can grab some extra things when you're at the store when something's on sale you can pay down a debt you can get coupons at a recycling center you can ask some of the stores to save them for you that's what I do I do my pickup on Monday and I get my coupons I don't have to pay for them anymore so there's no out-of-pocket and I've been trying to stay in my area which you don't see a lot of consistency with me um, doing homeless hauls anymore because I'm trying to cut down my gas costs 
So anyways, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you're happy. I hope this finds you well, and take care. Bye-bye.